Hello and welcome to the 10th tutorial in the Pogos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series and in this part we're going to be looking at collision detection this will be carrying on from the previous part so if you don't have it there'll be a link in the description to the source code now we have a character that falls with gravity and pipes that spawn and move we will check for collision detection between the character at and the edges aka the top or bottom because you can't move left or right technically and collision between the character and the pipes firstly we will create a couple of collision bit masks in the definitions file so let's go to this file right here we do hash define bird underscore collision underscore bit mask and we'll, you can put like a regular integer for this but we're just going to put a hex so 0x 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 just the key thing is here just keep them unique or, or unless you want certain collision bit masks to be the same as you want the same sort of functionality but generally try and keep them unique that's also another great thing about um, definition for you can just have a quick scan over it and see oh yeah these are the same or these aren't the same this is how we should be instead of going through this scene and that scene and that class and that class and let's finish this off underscore collision underscore bit mask zero x zero 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 two. Now we will assign the collision bit masks bit masks to the bird and obstacles and set the contact test bit mask to true so collision can be detected with that particular item. So at first we're just gonna to go to a bird and where we create the body right here, we're gonna do flappy body set collision bit mask and for this we're just gonna do bird uh, collision bit mask then we're gonna do flappy body set contact test bit mask it takes an integer but integer but if you put true it just collides with everything or you can pick up collisions with everything I should say you can detect them so you can say when these two have collided do a particular piece of code so now we're gonna go to our pipe so right here and we're gonna do top pipe body set collision bit mask. I'm gonna do obstacle collision bit mask, and we'll copy and paste that. And we'll change this to bottom. And then we're gonna do top pipe body set contact test bit mask to true, and we'll just copy and paste this. We'll change it to bottom point body instead of top point body. And now the last collision bit mask that we need to set is the edge. So that is in game scene. And it's created right here. So if we do edge body set collision bit mask. And for this we're gonna put obstacle collision bit mask then edge body set contact test bit mass we're gonna put true now that this is all set up we will declare the on contact begin method in the game scene header so if we just go to a game scene.h we can keep it private and we're gonna do bool on contact begin there are other methods for collision like on contact separate etc but we just need the on contact begin cocos 2d colon colon physics contact ampersand contact and now we're simply going to copy and paste this to our game team.cpp and what we will do is just created here we won't implement the functionality just yet we are now going to set up the contact listener in the game cpp file so we can well listen for contacts between the physics bodies so we just will go here i'm just going to put it here auto contact listener equals event listener physics contact colon colon create semicolon then we're going to do contact listener on contact begin equals cc underscore callback i'm going to do this underscore callback one as the method takes one parameter game scene on contact begin and then for the target we just simply specify this and now we do director 
colon colon get instance get event dispatcher add event listener we've seen graph priority and then for the listener we just simply specify contact listener and for the node we just put this semicolon the last step is to well implement the contact begin method so we can actually detect when collisions have occurred and switch scene but we all also need to include the game over scene header file so we can actually access that scene so we're just going to do hash include at the top game over scene go back to this one and then there was put some extra little space here so I can see it better and we'll go to this method here and what we're going to do is physics body asterisk a is going to create a local physics body which equals contact dot get shape a get body as the contact has two bodies basically the two that have collided at that particular time we can copy and paste this and just change a's to b's change this to a b as well now it's going to check if they have collided so if in here we're going to do two checks so we're going to do if bird underscore collision bit mask equals a get collision bit mask and and obstacle collision bit mask equals equals b get collision bit mask and what we're also going to do what we can simply do is we'll put or we'll copy and paste this and the one the only thing we need to change is flip the a and the b so b to a we could also just simply flip the bird collision bit mask and the obstacle collision bit mask because we don't know if the first physics body aka A is going to be the bore and B is going to be maybe the pipe or perhaps A is going to be the pipe and B is going to be the bore so we need to check for both instances and now in here what we're going to do is auto scene equals game over scene colon colon create scene then we'll be director colon colon get instance replace scene and then we're going to do transition fade colon colon create the duration we're going to put transition underscore time for the scene we're going to specify well the scene that we just created we're not going to have any color when we fade it out or not any particular color we're missing a bracket i believe now the only one last thing to do is return true here return and now if we just run this, what sort of symbol is that? Um, is that the rights reserved or whatever it is? I don't know how I accidentally got that on there. Uh, and now we're just going to run it. And what we're hoping for is we have the bird, and if we when it falls and it hits the ground, the player dies. And if it hits the pipe, the player dies. It will hit the ground first and we'll just disable the ground collision in a moment so we can test the pipe collision as well but that's easy you just go up we'll show you in a moment actually how to do that we click play we have this falling it hits the bottom and now we switched scenes but now we also want to see if it works with the pipe so what we can do if we go to our edge body here where we've put a uh, set collision test bit mask if we change that to false what will happen is it won't pick up the collisions between it so it'll still bounce off it and so forth so it'll do all that all the good stuff but it just won't pick up the collision so if we click play as you can see but when it hit the pipe it did switch but obviously we're going to switch this back to true that is it for this part of the series in the next part, we're going to be looking at making our bird actually fly. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.